To present the next award, here is a man of many faces, only two of which are his own. He's had an interesting year in the movies. In The Princess Bride, he showed that the Borscht Belt once extended into medieval Europe. And in Throw Mama from the Train, he set the Actors Guild back 30 years when he let his director bang him in the head with a frying pan. Number 10 still, as a matter of fact. Ladies and gentlemen, Mrs. Billy Crystal. Thank you very much. I wrote that before the strike. <laughs> I'm here to give the award for best sound. As you know, in movies, most art, art, like movie. No, in that, it's, it's art that people don't, or people don't, mixer, people who movie, make it, when you leave, on songs, or perhaps, lies, may influence sound in movies. I, I've always been in love with sound. I used to go to drive-in movies in New York during the day, because it was safer. And I used to listen to the sounds. There are strange sounds in all different kinds of movies, like in pirate movies, on board ship. You always hear this. <laughs> Let's do that all together, shall we? <laughs> or when Marcello Mastriani is at a sidewalk cafe, and the traffic is going by, you always hear this sound. I hope no one was seriously hurt. <laughs> and why is it in every Japanese science fiction movie? Every actor sounds like this. But Professor, I have never seen a beast like that. <laughs> Tokyo may be lost. I started... I started out... I started out imitating actors. And if you have no talent, here's how you can imitate anybody in the world. For everybody across the world, please do not try this at home. I am a professional. But watch how you can sound and look like anybody. For instance, Humphrey Bogart. Hey, you guys. Hey. Hey, put that gun down, Louis. Stay away from there, Louis. Hey, you guys. Hey. See? Or the greatest actor in the world, Rin Tin Tin. Is there anything on my face? The nominees for achievement in sound are Empire of the Sun, Robert Knudsen, Don DiGiliramo, John Boyd, and Tony Daw. The Last Emperor, Bill Rowe and Ivan Chirac. Lethal Weapon, Les Freshold, Sticks Alexander, Vern Poor, and Bill Nelson. Robocop, Michael J Thank you. Michael J. Kohut. Carlos Delarios, Aaron Rishon, and Robert Wald. The Witches of Eastwick, Wayne Artman, Tom Becker, Tom Dahl, and Art Rochester. And the winner is... Bill Rowe and Ivan Chirac for The Last Emperor. I think Billy said it all. I've got a radio mic here somewhere, but I don't know where it is. <laughs> We'd like to thank Jeremy Thomas, uh, Bernardo Bertolucci, and everybody in the Academy for making our dreams very simply come to reality. Thank you very, very much. <clears throat> Before I wake up, I agree with him. Thank you. Our third nominated film tells the story of an Italian family in New York's Little Italy. The daughter falls in love with the brother of her fiancé, discovers her father entertaining his mistress, her mother picks up a man in a restaurant, and her grandfather takes his eight dogs to the park to meet some friendly poodles. 
All the while, Dean Martin sings That's Amore. It's called Loonstruck. Thank you.